Let's now set up our Firebase account. So when we come to actually coding our project, we don't have to go and start setting up things later on. So start off by navigating to firebase.google.com. And you should be given a screen like this, in which we can get started using Firebase to build better mobile applications. If you log in with your Google account and select go to console at the top right, you should be given a screen in which it says welcome to Firebase. From here, we can add a new project by selecting the add project button and giving our project a name. I'm selecting my country or region to be the United Kingdom and the project name to be Firebase CRUD. If we then select create project, we'll be greeted with a spinner while it actually creates our project, but then it will be given our Firebase dashboard. So inside of our Firebase dashboard, we have access to a whole host of features, everything from authentication, to our real-time database, cloud functions, hosting, and much more. Now that we've set up our Firebase project on the dashboard, we'll come back to this in a moment. Let's go back to our project inside of Visual Studio Code and add Firebase to the project. And when it comes to getting the API keys, we'll revisit this page. So that's all coming up next in the next lecture.